Hey guys, look what we got here. This is an old beauty. 66 Barracuda, Formula S, 273 V8, four on the floor, limited slip diff. This really does tick most of the boxes. This is a cool old car. They didn't make a lot of them. Uh, I think they made like close to 4,000 uh, in the S package. Uh, about a third of those were stick shift or manual. So yeah. It's uh, it's fairly rare car. Now, it appears to be in really nice condition. Um, and this is not one of these shock videos. Like I, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a nice car when we put it up on the rack. It's got a gorgeous interior. Take take a look in here, Steve. Like you can see, it's like even just the badges here, the Barracuda, a gorgeous condition, remote mirror. Everything in here looks exactly like it should exactly like it did back in the day uh, the dash pads perfect headlining's great you just sit in this and it's like this is nice um yeah it's 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 a pretty car um yeah okay so green dark green's not everybody's perfect choice but i mean i i like it, it it's um it's got the light green interior this is a really nice car everything's as it should be and it's a rich appears to be even original carpet you know there's enough fading on the carpet it's not had new carpets put in it and it's got the fold down back seat it really it, it's a neat old car so he's got a few little things we need to do into it he wants some changes made to the brakes it's got a lot a lot of slack in the steering um, and there's something clanking and banging not good uh, so we've got some issues there and uh, the tuning's not quite where it needs to be. So we're gonna get it up in the air, see what all that clanking and banging is, and uh, we'll uh, be back in a second. Okay, so we got it up on the rack. It looks just as clean underneath as it does on top. Uh, I don't know how much of this stuff is new parts. I mean, this looks new. It's got the factory, the actual factory exhaust on it, which I'm not sure where he laid his hands on that. But this was a factory design, this resonator at the back here with the huge rectangular tailpipe on it. Uh, looking up in, you know, in these usual spots where they, you know, doesn't matter what brand, Mopar, Chevy, Ford, they all want to rust away here. This is in great shape. All up through the wheel arches, the wheel tubs. That's all solid as can be. Um, up and through here where they have a habit of rusting. It's all great. All got factory brake lines on it with a little spring wrap around it. Uh, you know, when they've done the exhaust, he's even even you know got the factory style exhaust hangers uh, rather than just some universal hanger on it. Like it's been it's been done nice. It's done really nice. You just there's just no issues that I'm seeing. Everything's you know, this, all the U-bolts have been, you know, replaced with nice CAD-plated ones. Uh, the sides up here is just as solid. As the other side, there's just, there's no rust here. There's no rust here. Moving forward. Oh, that was the other thing I noticed. This thing, which I notch, one of you Mopar guys here watching might know whether this is a, an option that you ordered or whether they came with a limited slip, but look, this has got... Some kind of a track lock, limited slip. You know, both wheels are running forward. So yeah, that's kind of cool. It's going to make it uh, a little nicer to, to to romp on it. Now, yeah, it's got the the two into one exhaust. So it's quite a big pipe for back in the day. And four speed. These were only ever designed to have a single pipe. You'll see the little notch here in the cross member. That's for the exhaust to sneak through. And they didn't do it on this side. So yeah, this is only ever made for um, for a single pipe. But uh, if you saw Uncle Tony's video, you know, he was saying that these things were only really ever designed to have a slant six in them, and then they decided to shoe on the 273 in there. And then the year after this, they they made them a bit bigger. They walked, put the rest chassis rails further apart, moved the firewall back, and just made it a lot more V8 friendly. So man, but all this this is all original floor pans. All this is original. Um, like my Barracuda, you know, we had to replace all this because it was rusty. And my Barracuda's quite a good one. Um, 
but not as good as this. Uh, he he did apparently was telling me he upgraded to, to disc brakes on the front. And now these are, we've done a little bleed of the brakes here, we've changed the master cylinder. Uh, so yeah, don't worry about it. it's a little bit of this weakness, that's just where we've been bleeding it. Um, but they are actual factory correct disc brakes for this car. It's not an aftermarket eBay kit, you know, with adapters and brackets. And this is all the, the original cast, you know, the correct stuff, which and that really just, in my mind, that really just steps it up a notch. Uh, it's not being cheaped out on um, at all. And yeah, man, it's nice. It is really nice. But yeah, even like stuff like this little rubber, you know, deflector. Like, you know, those are usually long gone. Uh, still got the factory undercoating on in a lot of places. But they've replaced a lot of stuff too. Like he's got new bump bump rubber here. That's that's new. So they've gone through and it's been restored like to a high level, which is you know it's nice to see. So yeah, we've got a couple more things to do on it. Um, got to rejet the carburetor, it's running a little fat. So we're going to do a little jet swap on the Edelbrock, just take it down a size, see how that cleans up the running on it. And yeah, take it for a test drive and see, row a few gears. So uh, I'm going to get it back on the ground, dive into that carburetor, and then we'll be back for a road test. All right, well, we got everything crossed off the bucket list, to-do list. Uh, you come in here, we put a, we changed the master cylinder out. It had a later model master cylinder uh, with, the, with the plastic uh, reservoir, which the customer didn't like. It kind of didn't fit with the car, because uh, this is an upgrade, the booster and the, and the tandem master. So uh, we changed it to this style master cylinder and uh, we've gone a little bit smaller in the bore side. It had a very big bore on it. It was like inch and uh, three sixteenths bore. Uh, so the pedal was a bit dead. Um, this is now a one inch bore, which should support um, you know, the brakes that it's got on it uh, and give us actually more, more leverage, more pedal pressure. Um, you know, with, with less push on the pedal, giving more pressure to the brakes, which, you know, that'll, that'll be an improvement. Uh, the steering, all that clunking, you know, was um, the steering box coming loose. We tightened all that up. And, yeah, uh, tuning-wise, set the timing, put a little bit more advance into it. Uh, we've gone down one size on the jets just to lean it out, just a touch, um, like three thousandths of an inch in the jet size. Uh, so yeah, we're going to roll it out, shut the doors, go for a test drive. So back in a second. Okay, let's go. Look at that, even the little turn signals on the front of the fender are working. That's kind of cool. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. See them flashing down there? No, that one's not working, but this one is. <laughs> Right. Oh, those brakes are a lot better. Those brakes are a lot better. Um, yeah, it doesn't take a lot to slow it down there. So yeah, it's getting towards five o'clock, so we've got a little bit of traffic to deal with, unfortunately. But, Man, it drives nice, this thing. It drives nice. Got plenty of power. It's not as quick as that Corvette was, but I mean, it's a bit heavier and it's a smaller engine. And, you know, but it's it's pretty respectable. Um, yeah. Very nice, you know, it's a little floaty maybe, but that's kind of a Chrysler torsion bar thing. It's, um, it's nice. A little bit of gear noise going on, just a little. 
But we got no firewall at the back, like the seats, you know, it's the fold down back seat on them. So that doesn't help you cause any. Oh, very tall first gear. So it's a similar gearbox to that Corvette, so it's really nice. Yeah. That's a fun little car. A fun little car. It's cruising. Got a little bit of get up and go, and it's, but it's cruising too. Steers a lot better now with the steering box bolted in probably too. And like that's in top gear. It's not many a pull. You know, you don't have to go down the gears. That's pulling it, you know, like 30 mile an hour and it's pulling away quite happily. That's got plenty of torque. Yeah, well, I'm going to call this one another win for Kiwi and uh, get cleaned up, send her home. All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's a little bit different from our uh, typical Mustang fair that we have a lot of. So it's been fun to work on it. Hopefully it's been fun to watch. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.